All right, guys, welcome to your second Python tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be learning more about those basic math operators. And also, I want to teach you guys about something called variables if we have time. So, in the last tutorial, we saw that you can add two numbers together three plus four, simple enough. Now, you can also use minus to subtract. That's, uh, you know, kind of intuitive. However, if you never programmed before, I'll talk to you guys about multiplication and division. Whenever you want to multiply two numbers, you use the asterisk, which is above the 8 on your keyboard, and you can just do 3 times 20. Easy enough. Now, whenever you want to divide, you use the forward slash, so 12 over 4, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Now, just like in real life, computer programming in Python also has orders of operation. So, say that you had 8 plus 2 multiplied by 10. Well, you may be thinking, okay, 8 plus 2 equals 10. 10 multiplied by 10 equals 100. Okay, I got 28. And that's because, just like in real life, it follows the orders of operation. It multiplies and divides first. So 2 multiplied by 10, which would be 20, and then it adds 8. Now, if you ever wanted to run this like you thought it would, you can put them in parentheses. So 8 plus 2, and again, anything in parentheses, happens first, takes precedence over everything else. So this would be 8 plus 2, which is 10, and then multiply that answer by 10. So again, whenever you want to do that, use parentheses. Now, this is pretty simple stuff so far. However, the one thing that may confuse you is whenever you're using division, and this is not only Python, but all computer programming languages, computers handle division in a kind of weird way, and you may get some unexpected results. Now Python is pretty good at just simple division, so 18 over 4, 4 and a half. Now there are a couple um, cool techniques that we can use, and this is actually helpful in a lot of cases. There are some times that we want to round down, or in other words, drop this decimal place. So we're going to say, okay, 18 divided by 4, whenever we use two forward slashes, what this does is it takes the result and rounds it down to the nearest whole number. In other words, it pretty much takes the decimal place and drops it, forgets about it. Now, if we only want to access the remainder, such as 18, I'll show you guys what I'm doing and then I'll talk you guys through it. So what this does is whenever you use the percent sign, whenever you divide 18 by four, it's four with two left over. So 16 plus 2 is 18. So what this does is the modulus, it's called the percent sign, it gives you the remainder. Simple enough. So, okay, cool division symbols, basic math operations. What else you got? Well, another cool thing that you can do with Python is really easily calculate the powers or um, the exponents. So say that you want to do 5 to the power of 3. Well, you can do 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 and get 125 or you can do this 5 double asterisk 3 this is pretty much the same thing and if you hit enter it's pretty much saying 5 to the power of 3 so again double asterisk means calculate the powers alright so that's pretty much the core basics of how to use um, simple math operators in Python so now I want to teach you guys about variables now, a variable is just like a placeholder for something else, just like in math class. So you can take x, and you can name your variables pretty much anything you want. Make sure you start them with letters, and they can also include numbers on it. Don't include anything like a stupid symbol. Um, pretty much start it with a letter, and you can also have numbers in it as well. Those are like a very basic rule. So let's go ahead and make a variable named tuna. In, in order to set it equal to a certain value, just use the equal sign and then the value. So hit enter, and right now, we have a variable called tuna, and it's equal to the value of five. So now we can use it in place of any equation. So for example, remember we can add two numbers together? Well, now we can add a number plus a variable, and this is essentially saying 20 plus five. Hit enter, pretty cool. Now you can actually use all variables in your equation. So if you have tuna equal to five and bacon equal to 18, then what you can do is put bacon divided by tuna, 
which is pretty much saying, okay, 18 over 5, and that is 3.6. So if you guys ever want to know what bacon over tuna is, it is 3.6. Pretty interesting. <laughs> but now we know the basic math operators, also some cool, um, you know, extra things like exponents and stuff, and also how to divide bacon over tuna. So in the next video, we're going to be learning some more complex stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.